Hey, thanks for dropping by, Can't Let Her Die DIY. You know what you need to do? You need to make a one-person brake bleeder for your Chevy Colorado or GMC Canyon or a Hummer, whatever you have, or any vehicle. But this is specific to the Chevy Colorado GMC Canyon, and I believe the Hummer as well. So anyway, let's let's get to it. Enough yapping. I got, already got my old clothes on. Come join me at the workbench. We'll get this done. So I'm kneeling down by my workbench here, and you'll need this. This is fuel line, and it's specific. It is 3 sixteenths fuel line, because you see the hole in there? That is 3 sixteenths of an inch, and that is the exact size of the nipple on your bleeder valve on your caliper, on your Chevy Colorado GMC Canyon. So this fits over the brake bleeder on the caliper, and then you can open it up and close it. So this is a perfect size. On the outside, it is 5 sixteenths of an inch. So what we're going to do is make a brake bleeder. We're just going to take any bottle. It's good to be narrow, so it doesn't take a lot of brake fluid to fill her up. And uh, just a cheap bottle. So i got a water bottle here. And uh, I'm going to stand up. And we're going to drill a hole a little bit smaller than the outside of this fuel line. So this fuel line, like I already said, is 5 16th. We're backing up one notch, one or two notches, to 1964. That's what that drill bit is, 1964. And uh, we're going to drill a hole in here. So first thing you do is locate the center and drill a hole. Just like that. Now we open it up and we get rid of any of those plastic pieces. Just like that. It's clean, it's dry, it's good. Now we insert the tubing. And this costs like five dollars in Canada, it's probably three or four dollars in the United States. It's five feet. And it is 3 16th fuel line. So we try to insert that. We want this to be a tight fitting. And it's tight. Twist it and rotate it. You can get it in there. Okay, we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Better to be too tight than too big. So I'm just rotating around that hole there. To make it a little bit bigger. I think the longer you try, you can get it. But since we're on camera here, i got to keep things going, moving quickly. There it goes, and that is tight, perfectly tight. That's going to work well. So we insert the hose all the way to the bottom. There. And that's going to go to the leader nipple on the caliper. But first we also have to put a little, uh, for the air pressure, as the fluid goes in, we need the air to come out a little bit. So we'll put a little hole in there for the air to come out. Right next to it, like this. And that can be any size you want, just a little tiny bit. There. Make sure we got all the plastic pieces out. And we're good to go. There will be your bleeder. How does it work? Well, as long as this tube's at the very bottom like this, uh, you fill it up about here with uh, brake fluid, good brake fluid that you're going to put in, and then you attach this in to your bleeder nipple on your caliper, and you open it up. Then you run around to inside your cab and you push on, down on the brakes. When you push down the brakes, 
fluid's going to come down in here. You're going to push the brakes three or four times. It's going to fill this hose up with fluid quickly because it's only a small little area in there. And it's going to go down there. And you're going to see bubbles going out down through this, uh, down through this tubing. And you keep pumping the brakes and it's going to be less and less bubbles. And then when you no longer see any bubbles coming out of your caliper, right, then uh, you're good. You've bled the brakes. You turn off the tighten up the nipple and close her off and no air gets back into your system. See the beautiful thing about this is bubbles can come out, air can come out, but no air can go back in. So it's tight around the nipple, it's tight here, and uh, this, as long as this is underneath the fluid, so standing upright like this, it will work. No air can get back in. If it fell down like that, and there was air here, then air would go back up the hose, and you have to start all over again, but it's no big deal. So that's it. It's a simple thing. It's no big deal. You can see it on the internet. Other people have done it. I need it for a job I'm doing right now, so uh, I just thought I'd do a quick video. I know someone's been asking for it. One of you has, so uh, there you go. This is specific to the Chevy Colorado GMC Canyon, and I believe the Hummer. Anyone with the same calipers, brake calipers. There it is, folks. You got it. You don't need to buy. You don't need to spend 30, 40 bucks, 50 bucks on, on something like this. It can't let her die DIY. We do it ourselves. We make up our as many tools as we can. Save our money. Our money stays in our pockets. I hope I helped you out. It's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. I'm loving this. You got this. You can make this piece of cake. Okay, now it's time to bleed the brakes. We got air in the system because we converted over from one caliper to another. We got air in the brake line. Now we got to get that air out because it's going to cause your brakes to be spongy, that sort of thing. So I have, uh, you can have two people, you can have one person pumping the brakes while you crack open this bleeder valve. They pump the brakes, they pump out, pump it out, and then you close it, then they let out on the pedal do that but you need two people to do that often we don't have two people it's just us uh, this is the one person breeder line here is the bleeder valve I've got this filled with uh, brake fluid down in here so air can come out when I push the pedal air bubbles and brake fluid will come down here will go into this bottle but the air cannot go back into the system so we're going to bleed out all the air so I will crack it open like that, and I'll run around to the pedal, and I'll push the brakes. And I'll push them again. And you should be able to see, uh, yeah, see the bubbles? A couple bubbles come. I'm going to push them again. There. Push it. Okay. Push the brakes. And let go. Okay, I'm going to push the brakes again. Okay, there's one little bubble there. There's one little bubble there. Okay, I'm going to push the brakes again. There goes that. There's no bubbles. There's a little bubble right there. Push it again. Okay, that, oh, one more bubble. I'm going to go push the brakes. There. So you keep doing that until you get all the bubbles out, and I have all the bubbles out. So that's good. I bled the, I bled the new caliber on the other side first because it's furthest from the master cylinder, and now I'm bleeding this one. And now that's bled out, so we tighten that off like that. We can pull this off. And uh, clean up because this stuff is very uh, corrosive. We'll clean that up and uh, make sure you don't make a mess. There's the brake fluid. It's pretty clean, right? I removed a lot of the brake fluid out of the master sonar to begin with, and. Uh, and then I put in new stuff, so I think I'm like flushing and 
bleeding the brakes at the same time. So I got new brake fluid in there, got three brake fluid that the manufacturer suggests. We got it in, we got the air out, I think we're good. Now there's a little rubber nipple that goes on there. And this concludes the bleeding, the brake, brake line. Thank you.